The following question is about moles and ratios and the question reads that you have 2.920 grams of a group 2 metal. So we know that it's a, it's a group 2 metal having a plus 2 charge and it reacts with an excess of chlorine to form 5.287 grams of a compound with the formula XCl2. So we need to construct an equation. So there's uh, X uh, which is the group 2 metal and it's reacting with the uh, chlorine which is uh, Cl2 and He's also stated what the formula of the compound that is being formed is XCl2, so that is being formed. And uh, he's given you the mass of this compound, which is going to be 5.287 uh, grams. 5.287 grams, so the mass of the compound that is formed is also given, and the mass of the, of the compound, uh, of the metal, group 2 metal, is also given. It's 2.920 grams. Now the way you're going to answer this question is uh, you're going to use ratios. If you look at the equation, this is a balanced reaction. Remember that the amount of moles of X and the amount of moles of the compound XCl2 that is formed, they're going to be exactly the same. It's one ratio one. So one produces one. If you have 100 molecules of uh, atoms of X, they're going to produce 100 compounds XCl2. So, so the ratio is one ratio one. So the moles of X and the moles of XCl2 should be equal. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to find the moles of both substances. So the moles of uh, X can be found by dividing the mass by the atomic mass of X, which is unknown. So we're going to take that as the unknown, which is X. And we're going to find the, we will find the moles of this compound XCl2, which is going to be the mass of XCl2 divided by the molar mass of XCl2. So we don't know what X is, but there are two chlorines. So that's 35.5 plus 35.5. So that's 71. So I found the moles in terms of X. Now these moles should be equal to these moles because it's one ratio one. So the amount of moles of X and the amount of moles of XCl2 must be equal. So I'm going to make them equal. So if you make them equal, it's going to be 2.920 grams divided by X. That should be equal to 5.287 grams divided by X plus 71. And I'm going to solve this for X and find out what X is. So it's going to be 2.920 multiplied by X plus 2.920 multiplied by 71. And on the other side, if I would take X, that would be 5.287 uh, multiplied by X. So I'm going to get the X's, uh, all the X together. So it's going to be, it's going to be 2.920 multiplied by 71. And on the other side, there would be uh, 5.287. And if I get the 2.92 X on the other side, that would become minus 2.92 X. So that's minus 2.920 and I'm going to solve this now. So I need to divide this value by 5.287 minus 2.920. I brought this value from the other side. So that's uh, what my X would be equal to. So using my calculator, I'm going to solve for this. It's going to be 2.920 multiplied by 71 and dividing it by 5.287 minus 2.920 and solving this on my calculator the value that I'm going to get is X is coming out to be 87.6 so it's coming out to be 87.6 so this is the AR of X so what we need to do is we need to find out what's the AR of uh, which element has the AR 87.6. So if you look at the periodic table, you you would notice that strontium is 87.6. The AR of strontium is 87.6. So D, option D is going to be the, it's going to be the correct answer for this question.